The New York Times had a fantastic article where they lay out in great detail exactly what's going on in the Syrian civil war right now. And apparently, the federal government is finally realizing something that I've been saying from the beginning on this show. And it's not like I was able to get this information because I have some sort of secret access to government files or, you know, I'm on the ground out there in Syria. No, I was able to figure this out based on reading dozens and dozens of articles from different outlets, and you're able to piece it together. But the CIA and the Department of Homeland Security apparently weren't. They weren't following along as closely because now they're all surprised. Listen to this, quote, We are concerned about the use of of Syrian territory by Al-Qaeda to recruit individuals and develop the capability to be able not just to carry out attacks inside of Syria, but also to use Syria as a launching pad against the U.S. and Europe. That's from John Brennan, the CIA director. He's the one saying that. Also, uh, these are the rebels in Syria that we're talking about, and the movement is broken up into four main factions. You have the Kurds in the north who basically just want to be left alone and kind of set up their own state. There's not too many of them. They make up a small uh, portion of the rebel movement. You have the Free Syrian Army, or the FSA as everybody calls it, which was the most secular of the rebels. But now they've kind of broken up and there's no central command and they're losing in numbers rather quickly. And then you have the two main factions, the two biggest factions in the rebel movement. Al-Nusra Front, which is an official affiliate of Al-Qaeda, and ISIS, which is a group of such extreme jihadists that even Al-Qaeda says they're too extreme. Wow. Those are the the bulk of the movement. Those two groups are the bulk of the movement. Now, furthermore, the groups have, quote, ready access to about 1,200 American and European Muslims who have gone there to fight and could be potential recruits to carry out attacks when they return home. So the fear is that they will come back to America or they will go to Europe and uh, they'll do some sort of terrorist attack, and they get the training while they are there in Syria. Quote, the large majority of al-Qaeda-linked commanders now in Syria are there due to poten the potential for Syria to be the next jihadist safe haven. So this is the big news from today. Now we are learning that the U.S. government is afraid that Syria is not only going to become a failed state, because there's an argument that it already is, but it's going to become the next Al-Qaedistan. Now, we already saw what is essentially uh, Al-Qaedistan in northern Mali, but France actually went there to fight a war against them. So they're actually fighting this idea of the war on terror, which, of course, the U.S. declared in the early 2000s under George W. Bush. We just kind of fucking gave up and said, no, we'll stay here fighting in Iraq. Uh, and, I'm sorry, in Afghanistan. Although in Iraq, we still kind of are, too. Uh, and what was the reality on the ground in Afghanistan? There were less than 100 members of al-Qaeda in the entire country. That's not me saying that, that's the CIA saying that. So we're fighting a war on terror in Afghanistan, but there's less than 100 members of al-Qaeda there. Brilliant, guys. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, a great way to fight Al-Qaeda, by fighting in a country where they're not there. The fuck are you doing? They're in Mali. They're in Syria. You know, they're more in Pakistan and Yemen and uh, Somalia, which is why they're doing a lot of drone strikes in those places. But, of course, they're doing it the worst way possible because they're killing so many civilians. The drone strikes have a 98% failure rate. But in Syria now, again, this is where they are concentrated. They're concentrated in Syria. The Secretary of Homeland Security said, quote, Syria has become a matter of homeland security. Now, understand another reason why this is huge news and why, I mean, in a, a world that made sense with a media that made sense, they would be talking about this for a week straight realize that it wasn't that long ago, it was only a few fucking months ago, that President Obama was giving a speech at night on national TV talking about how we should go into Syria, or we should 
uh, have some military strikes in Syria, but we should attack Assad. Now, everything I just went through with all Al-Nusra Front, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, this is all, that's all the rebel movement. So in other words, we were talking a few months ago about possibly becoming allies with Al-Qaeda. Mind blown.